Where should you invest if you're an out-of-state investor? Where are the best markets? Where is the most cash flow, right? You hear about Cleveland. You hear about Detroit. You hear about Indy, although a lot of people had some trouble with Clayton Morris. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, you hear about uh, Memphis, right? Where is the best places to invest? I got a sneaky market y'all ain't ever heard of, and we are making tons of dough, and I'm going to help you do the same. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. I help everyday folks like you invest out of state. I find you the most profitable cash flow markets in the USA. Today, I'm working with my client, Mark. Mark, I got a deal. It's going to kill it. 1100 in rent. All you need is 13 grand, and it's in an area I guarantee you've never heard of. Let's take a quick break, talk about the area, talk about the property, talk about the pros, talk about the cons. Let's get this thing off the ground. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now this property... This property is located in Lorraine, Ohio, right? Lorraine, Ohio. little sleepy town, right? It's not something you've probably heard of, right? It's not big and famous, right? It's not L.A. It's not New York, right? It's not Dallas, Texas, right? It's not Denver, okay? No, no, no. Lorraine, Ohio. Ain't nobody heard of it, right? Uh, I'm guessing a lot of people, though, interested in out-of-state investing, have heard of Cleveland, Ohio, right? You Google best cash flow markets in the United States, Cleveland pops up quite frequently, right? Uh, Cleveland gets a lot of the credit because it's, you know, the core, like, central piece. Uh, and you got the Cavs, you got the Browns, you got the Guardians. It used to be the Indians, but, like, you know, it's 2022, dude. We're woke as it gets these days. Uh, so now it's the Guardians. Uh, so, you know, it gets all the credit, right? But uh, it's just one little city in a greater metropolitan area, right? There's like 350,000 people that live in Cleveland. Uh, the metro area, the whole metro area, like where Holton Wise can help you invest, it's like close to 5 million people, okay? Uh, this this city is about 30 minutes west of Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, to give you an example uh, of something you'd be familiar with, like everyone says LeBron's from Cleveland. LeBron's actually from Akron which is about 30 minutes south of Cleveland, right? So about the same distance, right? So it's in the general vicinity. Uh, but a lot of people ain't paying attention to it. I am, though, because I actually think the returns in Lorraine are better. Less people are paying attention, number one. Number two, there's going to be some good things happening. It's right on Lake Erie, and we got two new naval bases being built, okay? There's going to be at least 3,000 jobs coming to the area once those things get fully erected. <laughs> and, you know, it gets me fully erected cash flow and that's what's going on with this property right so what we have here is this nice little single house 923 west 18th lorraine right now this is gonna look a little scary to you at first right you clearly have a pack rat type tenant and i feel like to the brand new investor this can be scary you're like whoa dude there is like a lot of crap in this house right and by the way this like looks really sketchy like this freaks people out all it is is they just took the door off the furnace like the the little piece like you pop that off and then you service it okay so it's not like broken broken uh i, I just know a lot of rookie investors probably see that and they freak out and they see this and they freak out right but I don't want you to worry too much about all this crap right here. I want you to bring your attention right here. Okay? See that? It's an updated electric panel. That's what matters. All this crap in the basement, you might be freaking out thinking this is a bad thing. Nah, man. This ain't that bad, okay? This ain't that bad. As a matter of fact, I kind of like it. I think it's good, right? I'd love to just do me a belly flop right onto all that junk. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Why? Because all that crap, all that junk, you know what that shows me? 
we got a long-term tenant who don't want to go anywhere, and that's good. Now, here's the deal. This long-term tenant, they're month-to-month. They're paying 700 a month. Cool thing is the house is so cheap. Deal would probably still work uh, at 700 a month, but it's even better, okay? We have so much meat on the bone that a lot of people probably don't realize here, all right? They're only asking 54900 for this thing, okay? 54900 just put it on the market. That's $41.59 a square foot, right? Uh, I'm currently in the process of building, building my family a house up in Northeast Ohio, okay? And uh, I'm looking at over $200 a square foot uh, just to build it, right? Doesn't count, doesn't, you know, account for the land or anything like that, right? So you're looking at like 200 bucks a square, and it's a big-ass house, so I have some economies of scale, okay? So you're looking at at least 200 bucks a foot to build a house. This is a fourth of that, right? Couldn't even rebuild a house this cheap. Now, if this was in Cleveland proper, it'd probably be 80K, but it's not. It's in Lorraine, so that's good. Uh, so we get a much cheaper price. But you're still going to need to come in, like, aggressive. Don't be like, oh, nobody's paying attention. I'll bid 40. No, nobody's paying attention, which is why you're lucky enough to take it down for list, okay? We're going to actually bid 55. It'll still get multiple offers. The properties still go quick, even though Lorraine is a little bit less on the radar than Cleveland. Again, it's just... You're, you're getting that with the pricing. That doesn't mean like, duh, it's less, so I'll offer less. No, like, that's why they picked this price to move it immediately, okay? Okay, so 55, right? And the market rent, look at this. The market rent, 1100 right? 13200 okay? Section 8 or cash paying tenant, $1,100 for this house. Long-term NOI, folks, after adding in your fixed and variable expense estimates, adding my team's fee for doing all the management, right? You're 100% passive. We do it all. Property management, maintenance, leasing, insurance, the whole shebang. You're looking at pure cash flow, $6,800 a year. $55,000 purchase price. You only put down $13,750. Bank kicks in $41,250. That's a 35% return on your money, right? This is why... <laughs> I get erected for that city that they were erecting a naval base, folks. I'm excited about that. But hold on. Before you get too crazy, we don't want you sitting there with a tent for over four hours. Because then you got to go to the doctor to get that relieved, okay? They say that in all the commercials. But don't get too excited, right? Because currently, again, we're at 700 in rent. The numbers I just gave you are 1,100 in rent. Go back to all the crap in the house, right? We got like a little pack rat action here. That's why I like this, though, okay? Look, here's the deal. Look at this person, dude. They are bunkered in. Like, th This is like literally like some like uh, uh, doomsday preppers type stuff in there, right? They got extra shelves for canned goods. These people are bunkered in. This is good. This is what you want, right? Where'd that basement picture go? Yeah, look at that belly flopping. I'm just doing the breaststroke down in here through all this stuff. I'm just kidding. I can't even breaststroke. Honestly, some people make fun of me because I can't breaststroke, and they say I can't swim. That's not true. I can swim. I could, like, go in the water and not die, but, like, I can't do a breaststroke, but I cannot die. So I feel like that counts. I just, you know, I don't got the breaststroke. But anyway, I'd breaststroke through this, though, all day, right? Because... We got a $400 variance between what they're paying and market rent, but this don't look like a person who's able to just get up and move, does it? No, no. They're hunkered down, folks. Doesn't mean I want you to immediately up their rent from 7 to 11. Yes, you can. Legally, we give them a 30-day notice. We could do that. Uh, but if you go too high, I think you'll increase the odds they move out, and then we got to do like a big turn, dude. We're looking at like at least 15K. It's pretty grody in there, right? Uh, what I would want to do is keep them in the house as long as I can so we don't have to do a unit turn, right? So what I would probably do, take it over, uh, get them on a lease just so we have them on our lease, not the old owner's lease, because anytime you try to evict a tenant without a lease, if they've never paid you rent the first time, they always, always, always go with the legal uh, defense that they didn't even know who they were supposed to pay. And then at the very least, uh, the judge or the magistrate, they'll continue the case. That costs you a little bit extra money. We always get them out, but if we got to go to court two to three times, that's an issue, right? You spend a little bit more money. So I like to get people on a new one-year lease when we just take over at whatever their existing rent is. That Lays everybody out, gets them on our terms, get them on our system. And then next year, I would go for the bigger increase, right? I wouldn't go all the way to 11, though. I'd probably go to 9, okay? 55K, now you're getting 9. Yeah, you're making some serious money. Then the year after that, I'd probably go 950, then 1,000, then 1050, then 1100, right? 
So you want to slowly do it, right? Because you don't want turnover, right? You'd rather take the small amount of cash flow today and keep it moving, start buying other investment properties, keep that money coming in, then immediately remove an income stream and then have to send like another 15K out to the Cleveland market. You don't want to do that, right? Turnovers are what kill us. You're going to get turnovers in this business, folks. It's inevitable. Don't increase the rate of your turnovers. Don't create artificial turnovers. That's how you lose money, right? You'll lose money by dropping an extra 15K to renovate it, right? You got a tenant that you know is paying. They don't want to go anywhere. They are hunkered the hell down. Let's keep them in there as long as we can and slowly increase our margin. That is the best, smartest, and most profitable way to run this investment property. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.